Um, you want to tell your company's story? Try not to outsource your company's soul. I, I think that if you're giving your voice to someone else, it, they either have to do a really good job, or you need to know that that it's going to be well done in a, in a manner that really represents your company. You want to be passionate. Never see it just as a to-do list or another thing in the social checklist. You want to be generous. Everybody talking about being generous, but when you see a company just retweeting things, it just makes no sense. Um, this was said earlier a lot. Say sorry. And I think companies are, are learning that saying sorry is essential. Responding at surprising hours is one of my favorite things. Um, best practice, probably not, but tweeting at 2 a.m., it pays off. People get happy when you do that, especially if it's a, if it's a customer problem. Um, obviously, you can't do that, but if you can do weekends or nights from time to time, I think people like that more than the 9 to 5 typical thing. Right? Like people speak. Schedule tweets, but don't schedule them, you know, for a week, a month, or a week in advance. Just schedule them for that day or the next few days. Uh, be personal. Reach out to influencers, but make sure you're not becoming just a concierge of, oh, you know, we only cater to micro celebrities or something like that. Gotta play with your background. Follow back. Engage in private. I think the DM doesn't get the doesn't get seen as, as important as it really is, which is being able to email people uh, in short conversations. And if they're on Twitter, they might not email you, so use that DM. Um, focus on conversations. Be spontaneous, but not too random and out of place. I think sometimes it's so exciting to get on Twitter that you just want to talk about everything. And so we'll talk about the NBA Finals, we'll talk about the World Cup, but we won't just randomly talk about sports all month long about, you know, when it's not the finals or something very important. I think a big one is creating content. This is something also that came up earlier and it's really essential. If you don't have Photoshop, go get Photoshop. Learn how to, the content create uh, process is started, how it's done. And uh, you know, if you can create special content for your Twitter account or for your Facebook account, whatever account you're using, I think it's really important. Ask questions or request feedback. Stay silent if necessary. Sometimes you can't say sorry, and sometimes you truly can't because of legal reasons. So make sure that you're really integrated and, and in conversations with your legal department before you say things that maybe you shouldn't say. Do contests and giveaways. Uh, do live tweeting. We do that at CS. We, we did a little bit at South by Southwest. And I'm actually going to a bell later tonight with our charities, and I'm going to be live tweeting in about an hour. So live tweeting can be very helpful to keep people you know, in the know about what's going on in the company. Consider ads, but don't, uh, I, we haven't done any, so I'm not sure how well they work. But if, if they do, uh, Facebook has done, I think ads are going to be more normal and more accepted in the future. Make sure you're collaborating with your teams. Uh, if, if you do anything, increase your social media budgets. <coughs> Because I think everybody's going to be doing it, and then you're going to find out that everybody did, and so you can start doing it. But I think it makes sense. Um, there is a lot of things that require money to do on social media. Just don't believe them that social media is uh, something that you can just buy. It's, you can't buy creativity, um, but you can get people that can be creative. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So what is Twitter going to be like tomorrow? I don't think anybody knows. I don't think Twitter knows. But based on what we've seen so far, they've really transformed the web. They've really given us an experience and, and a platform that is like unlike anything else. So we're probably going to see more richer and more immersive experiences. Convergence where you can take your tweeting and your tools from phone to TV to whatever device you want. More personalization. Facebook already did this, where you can go to CNN and personalize your experience. I wouldn't be surprised if Twitter did something like this, and they started giving you a, a, more context in Twitter.com, so where you can see, okay, I'm following these people for these reasons, or here is where we connect. This is what is similar between us, things like that. Um, Real-time updates. I wish Twitter would already be like Friend Feed. I don't know if anybody tried Friend Feed, but it kind of went away after getting acquired by Facebook. But if, if it was more real time, I think it would be of much value to everybody. And we'll probably see other things like more augmented reality, enhanced customer service channels the way 12 Force has done. I think 12 Force has really taken advantage of something in a way that nobody else has yet. Um, specialized business pages. If you have a verified business page like we do, you've seen that their settings are special for businesses. And I, I can imagine that becoming more like a very specialized Twitter 
just for businesses. And whatever you do, don't forget that Twitter is not magical, and that as much as we love it, Twitter could go away. And so you have to always focus on that community you're serving, those customers that you have, and in case Twitter goes away, which I don't know if Aaron Strauss is still here, but at some point he asked me that question and I never forgot it is, if Twitter goes away, you have to have a relationship with those people that is beyond Twitter. And that's it, if you have uh, any questions, I'd be happy to answer them, and I'll be posting this on my personal blog, socialnerdy.com, uh, later tonight or tomorrow. Thank you very much.